Hey guys and gals, let's continue on with the second installment of the Nightmare Shark Ship by Lego Dreams. This is set number 71469. Contains just under 1,400 bricks, retails for $139.99. And the set was provided by the Lego Group for early review. So remember in the last installment, bags one through five did this and it did some figures. That's essentially what we did. And we used a few stickers and stuff like that. And yeah, I think we just built part of a shark thing with a bed that opens up and all that stuff. <laughs> and so today we're going to do the second installment, bag six through ten. So I think it's just easier to break this up into three pieces. And we only used one sticker too. All right. <laughs> Let's begin with bag six. Let me find it first. That's eight. There's a ten. I still got the bulk pieces over here, too. There's a nine. It's probably the very last one, which is usually how it always is, huh? Okay, now we can get going here. Now, let's begin with bag six. And I remember one of these bags in here was duplicated, so... I think it might have been bags 9 and 10. So what I'm going to do is read ahead just real quick. Got some, kind of like some rants to kind of talk about today. So if you're not into rants, I'm sorry. Yeah. So, so far the build experience, you know, for this, it's not bad. It's just, I think it's the colors that just make it seem kind of bland to be honest. So today I actually got my parts haul in from Lego's Pick-A-Brick. And yeah, it was much needed parts, some of them for the campground. Well, they're here now, but that's okay because guess what? I'll save them for the next campground installment. You know what, is this gonna be a duplicate? I thought it was. So, I hate worse when you get somebody wants you to do work for them and you tell them no, you, you're just too busy. And they kind of get a little angry with you because you don't have time to take off to cater to them and and the pay wasn't good anyways and sometimes I get a little blunt on things <laughs> and I uh, had a, a guy that had a he has a teenage son doesn't like doing any work stuff and I said, why don't you get your son to do it, to put this thing together, you know? And, oh, I don't want my kid to have to get his hands dirty and have to work. You know, I did that stuff when I was a kid. I don't want to do, have him do that. You know, and I thought, oh. And when I was told that, I thought, well... I thought to myself, yeah, that's pretty much how it is. When I was a kid and I would I had to help my parents and stuff when they needed help. It wasn't it wasn't an option. I had to do it. And now kids today, they don't even have to do much of anything. Now <laughs> they can just lay in bed and play video games and some parents are just, I don't want my kid to have to work. Well, I would have done that. I wouldn't be here today. Well, I don't, I don't want my kid to get his hands dirty like I did. Well, uh, good luck getting a job. Especially with people, jobs today, they want you to do math work. 
You know, a lot of kids can't pass math anymore. It's getting to be hard for them. It's not an easy uh, discipline, but, you know, I've had somebody to tell me their kids dropped out of school because it was getting to be too involved, and I thought, well, it's only going to get worse. <laughs> Yeah, that's my rant for the day. I'm like, get your kid to do it. No, I don't want him or her to get their hands dirty. You know? Why, well, you afraid they're going to get calluses and cuts on their hands? <laughs> yeah, I don't like getting mine all torn up too, but I'll do it. You know, especially if that means running the air conditioner or having a steak dinner. Yeah, I'll do that, uh, you know. Okay, I think we're just doing duplicates on both sides. I think I should have done that too. So if I build this and that's what it is, then I'll let you know. Yeah, these just kind of hang down here. That's what it is. I think we're doing the next side here. No, we're not yet. We're still working on this side. Let's not move that until we get there. But yeah, I just thought maybe some of you get a crack out of that. Yeah. I don't want my kid getting his hands dirty. You know, it's like Lego. You know, this is a, if you want to call it labor intensive, it is. Building a mock is not a, can't just plop it into the computer and crank the handle and expect it to be done. Yeah. Well, so far this is it's not too bad right there. I mean that's got a nice little look to it. Yeah, so basically you are building mirrors here. But see, I would never have known that. And sometimes, you know, um, and of course, I didn't read ahead this time, so that's that's on me. Yeah, but I got my parts haul in, um, and today is the twenty second of June, two thousand twenty three, and I'm continuing from earlier today. If you watch the other installment, and I'm just taking my time on the set. I just want to take my time on it and get it done as quickly as possible, but yet I want to try to enjoy the build and just get it done. I've already, I'm working right now on setting up one file already today. Yeah, but I hate worse and people don't, uh, when they don't respect me in the terms of you know, hey, my schedule's busy for the summer, and I can't just take time off because you tell me to. And usually family's the worst about that. I'm like, I'm sorry, I can't just do that right now, and you know, we start fights. Yeah. So far, though, I have been pretty pleased with this. And oh, I forgot to take out my studs today. I was like, what the heck's in my ear? I forgot I even had those on. But yeah. I just got to plow through the sets. I, I'm almost caught up with all the reports on the reviews. Those are just taking forever. The, I also report my tutorials with the LAN too. And basically when I report them with the LAN, it just makes you look like you're always active and stuff. And those reports only take 10 minutes because stuff that I built and I can remember that stuff. <laughs> you know, it's not like it's something that I can't remember anything. And at least I got some of that paperwork done. Oh, 
equipment's the big one here. Did I mess up on that? Can't tell. Yeah, I slept pretty good the other night too, so hopefully that'll stay like that. Of course, I got up at uh, 5.30 in the morning. I heard somebody raging at a video game, and I stopped that real quick. I'm like, you know, I'm going to be at the point where I don't care if you got school or not. I'm going to be loud because it is my place. You know how teenagers are. Like to mouth off, and I'm like, well, if you don't like my rules, there's the... There's the front door. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you're not cool anymore. Not when you're waking me up out of a dead sleep because you're angry at a video game, I'm not. Like if I want to crank the radio up full blast, I can do so. All right, I'm missing. All right, I'm missing another piece that goes to this. Well, if we don't know, we're gonna start. Oh, there it is. Let's say to start pulling out all the black parts first. Yeah, so far this thing is uh, it's different. Now, um, just to be safe, I'm not gonna make the same mistake again. All right, so this is just a single one here. So these are going to be about hour and a half segments. Yes, it's more that I have to edit. But that's how it's going to be. I don't know when this memory card is going to fill up in this camera. <laughs> and a rule of thumb, too, just look at the step ahead. Yeah, I got to make an appointment for a haircut next week and get that done because, I'm, matter of fact, it comes down to the bottom of my nose. It grows so fast, it's like, man. Yeah, I can't take the long hair anymore, so I'm not even going to grow it. My friend wants me to grow it out. I'm like, no. Yeah, I'm like, no. We ain't going to do that. Homie's not going to grow his hair out. <laughs> I've already had enough of the shoulder length hair and the buns and all that stuff. All right. And what I'm assuming is that we're going to be, what I'm going to do is put this one on this side because I'm assuming it's going to match here. So I'm just going to start it off on both sides, and then I'm going to do this like right now. Yeah, I think today's going to be the last day that we're going to be in the 70s, and it's going to creep up real quick. So back east, are not used to it. It's like, it's not cooling down at night. It's hot. It's in the 90s. Well, in the desert out here. At night is when you want it to be cool. It's very seldom they'll ever stay like 100 degrees at night. It's happened out here. What you do to keep yourself cool, though, is you draw, you, you keep all your shades closed, and you keep the lights off, and you run things very minimally, and you eat foods that are cool. That's how I survived. And Out here, you know, air conditioning is a, a necessity. It's not a luxury like some claim it is. Okay, then we just wrap it around. I already did the other side. Oh, that's pretty seamless there. It's kind of cool. All right, and this goes here. So now we're getting big. Oh, 
wait a minute, that don't look right. But it is right, okay. It's kind of offset, but that's uh, how it is. <laughs> and the next little night shield goes on the top. And then we put these in here and we survive that put that in the ball joint does it have the ear no but you heard it click <laughs> okay and i think that's it because they only have one little piece remaining for bag six okay bag seven and it looks like we got ourselves a minifigure we're gonna have to put together and that thing looks kind of hideous doesn't it all right is that it are we gonna have to put more just that one figure okay let's pull out all the parts that we can find yeah there was this YouTube channel that I watched when I got on YouTube years ago and it was a destruction channel where this guy would uh, really smash the living daylights out of electronics and stuff like that. And if I remember his name that he used to go on YouTube, and his channel has been long since been defunct, no videos or anything, but I managed to find someone who actually uploaded most of his library of videos. <laughs> And he would smash stuff up. People say he was out of his mind or he was a lunatic, but I think it was mostly due to scripting. And this was the heydays of YouTube when you can get a little crazy on there and, you know, that kind of thing. And this is a double sided head. Let's put it up here so you can see it better. And now it's uh, what I've heard is. If you try to re-upload his content, he strikes it down immediately. Even well after 10 so years, he's never uploaded. He stopped uploading when he was, uh, back in 2013, and now it's 2023, and he's still removing content. I'm like, why don't you just le leave it up there? And that's when I got to thinking. Um, a lot of the stuff that I do, I, I preserve. There's the crown for him. And... You know, maybe one day, if I, you know, maybe when I'm not around anymore, I have, I left, you know, pretty much have left this world. I at least want my stuff to still be accessible. And beforehand, I just had YouTube videos for building guides. Now I actually have the actual building guides now for my content. You know, because that's all I had back then was just the building guides. Nothing more. Or the video tutorials. And I always hate getting this crap in minifigure hands. There we go. That's who he is right there. Yeah. Nothing too exciting. <laughs> so, yeah. Let's see. It's like this is just a top portion of the jaw. So, yeah, um, I'm going to try to keep my content up on YouTube as much as I can, but if I ever had to pull it down, you know, so be it. You know, I still get comments today, this guy is my childhood, this man made my Lego builds 10 million times better. I always like reading those comments. Well, I'm going to have to start pulling all the gray stuff out of here. There's one there. So a lot of people don't get that. They'll delete their videos. Oh, I, I've grown out of that. I don't want people to know I made those videos. Yeah, you know, and here's the deal. If I don't want if I don't want people knowing I made a video, I just won't make it. <laughs> or I'll think twice before I publish. But, you know, I can't just do that. And 
It's like now doing the whole building guides. And the building guides will be preserved. Like I got them in three or four different locations. Video guides are easier to, to store than, tutor than video tutorials because the files are really small. So like a lot of the guys today who do YouTube videos, who do um, Lego tutorials, you know, here's the deal. What would happen if YouTube decided to close down? You know, how are you going to... I think we're going to do this on both sides. How are you going to how are you going to handle if your videos are no longer available for the people to you or to download or not download, but just to enjoy, you know, to view and enjoy. And once it becomes like that, that's uh, kind of sad, you know. And I don't want that to happen because if YouTube ever went away, that's it. You know, I have everything backed up. I'd still make videos. I'd still make printed building guides. There's always space for PDF files. Okay. So now I'm going to build two of these, and they're going to be a mirror. But I was watching this guy's videos, and... His videos at the beginning were pretty cool, and he got so heavily watermarked. And you go on his, you find his archives. I'm not going to mention his channel here because I'm not partnered with him or a friend of his in any way. But um, you know, it's you don't want people knowing you destroy stuff. I mean, it was entertainment. I just took it nothing more than that. Somebody might have took his channel serious. I remember he had plug stuff in and short it out just to watch it burn up <laughs> you know, those were the days uh, yeah, not anymore unfortunately because now YouTube is all family friendly and safe for advertisers so advertisers do judge on what we watch on YouTube Now, I'm assuming this is going on the other side, so I'm going to just do that. You don't have to do that. So, I see a lot of these guys on YouTube who literally just have, you know, thousands upon thousands of videos. I'm thinking, you have all that backed up, right? You know, some people don't have that kind of storage. I have a, I have a 1.5 petabyte server and it's filling up pretty quickly with the 4k stuff so it's uh you know i've kind of got to get picky that's what this channel this channel is jay's archives or archives of jay it's gonna be named something else i think i'm gonna call it let's build it or something and wait a minute Okay, I totally messed up here. And, well, let's get this brick separator here. Well, at least I caught myself. Well, that whole thing's going to come apart. So, I was looking at that thing, and that don't make any sense. Probably why they had you do one side at a time, but I thought, oh, this is not too bad. I, was, I, I skipped a whole... In, higher step but yeah about archiving videos and stuff um, some people are very anal about it. they don't want they don't want any of their stuff archived or whatever and then they'll come back and go oh I wish I had that why isn't it there anymore because you took it down and you didn't share it with anybody so it just it got lost but Everybody knows, though, on the internet, everything is preserved. I'm sure there's probably somebody out there who has my whole library backed up. <laughs> and so do I on my end. But this guy's videos, he was one of the few channels that had full HD. And that's when HD on YouTube is becoming a thing. And now... Uh, 
uh, I don't know who ripped. I don't know who ripped his videos, but they're all in like I think 480p, 30 frames per second, just kind of kind of potato quality at that point. Kind of kind of sad, but like I said, I don't want to uh, like these videos. I really don't archive. They're just my thoughts. And this is not something I'm going to preserve forever. I mean, I'm messing up here. Oh, it's upside down. Okay, it's like, am I doing something wrong? Okay, I got to get a part out of the bulk bin. We're going to have to put stickers on that. Well, those are going to get ripped off because I need those for an airplane project. So right here, we're going to start with two. Still need to find the front portion of the aircraft, though. You know, usually I'm always saying, why don't we print this stuff on? But now I'm kind of glad they didn't because I can reuse that. Yeah, still to this day, I'll still get comments. This guy was my childhood. I always looked forward to coming home from school and watching his Lego videos. And Jay always made me happy. I was, I remember though there was that one kid. I remember his parents got into a divorce. And he enjoyed watching my content because I, he said he felt relaxed. And there was another one that said that I sound just like his uh, deceased dad. Sounded the same way, I talked the same way, the tone was the same way. His dad liked building Lego with him. You know. A lot of the big Lego YouTubers, they don't care about that stuff, or big YouTubers in general. At the end of the day, it's not about that kind of behavior or whatever it's just about um, you know if I make somebody happy or help somebody build something that's more to me than anything versus oh I'm just I'm just making the stuff reviews there you go <laughs> Alright, so it looks like this goes on here. Now, I don't know where this is going to stop at here. Okay, it goes like that. You would never have known. Boy, that's really coming apart. There we go. Yeah, but sadly, though, yeah, that's just how a lot of these guys are. They start off like I am, and I swore I was never going to be one of those you know, douche, those douchebags. But unfortunately, the douchebags are the ones that get all the views. I mean, I can come in right now and not answer any comments, don't talk to you guys and gals like, here, I just, this is just a video to make money. You know, that's what some people do. Uh, here, I want to build stuff and preserve it for you. To share my knowledge. I mean, yeah, it'd be nice to have millions of subs and stuff like that. Get invited to all the big Lego YouTube live streams. Matter of fact, somebody did ask me, why don't they ever see me on the other, like where some of these big Lego YouTubers will do interviews? Because I'm not popular enough or I just do this, you know. I've already had my share of being used. And the phone base goes right in the middle, and what goes there? Nothing. Uh, 
Anyways, though, anyways, at the end of the day, though, it's all about making someone happy. If that means you just sit back and get to hear me talk for a few hours a day and conversate with you, that's what it is. Okay, now we're going to have to put a sticker on some of these. I don't really use these for anything. And we got to build two of these in a mirror. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just prepare it right now. And the reason being is so I can kind of speed through it quickly here. Because I need to work on other content today. Like i got to get a bunch of stuff edited and all that stuff needs to be done. All right, so this one here, we need sticker number five. Oh, I'm surprised I got that on there right. And the next one is four. Starting at the flat edge over here. Yeah, that one's okay. And we take this one here and ooh, yeah, this is gonna be really brittle, so be careful with that. Yeah, but the speaking of the uh, backing up content stuff, I've noticed um, some people will re-upload my videos, and they'll get a they'll get a takedown notice real quick from me, and I'm just like, why? Well, I don't want your videos ever to go away. Okay, they're not going away. And if I'm going to stop making videos, I'll probably make a video letting you guys know that I am. But I'm not going to just blindly just take them down. Unless something happens. But I will give an explanation. There we go. I like the sand blue color, just don't have a lot of it. It's like a very rare color for me. Yeah, this is pretty loose. Everything on this is kind of loose until you put the final pieces on here. And it starts strengthening right up. I don't know what that is. But yeah, so far though, uh, the build quality on this is pretty good. It's the build experience that I'm kind of trying to get around here. Okay, I got this piece in backwards. Well, if you can't get the brick separator, how do you get that out? There we go. There. Okay, got that in there. Not a whole bunch. Not a whole bunch left. I need to get some of these macaroni pieces. So these were good for like pipes and stuff. And they are that dark, like almost like a black. It's a very dark gray. You can tell the difference right here. And they kind of got like a metallic sheen to them. So I just need to get a few more of those. Yeah, and that just fell off. Why don't we stick these on here when we're doing this? That's really just barely held on there. Yeah, 
Yeah, but I'm just about... Uh, after this bag, we'll be halfway done with this set. <laughs> and then... Stick some of these like that. I mean, there's some pretty interesting build techniques in here. Like, that's pretty cool. Using those as anchor ties, too. That's really cool. And I was hoping these would be silver metallic. These are just uh, medium stone gray. Okay, they are meant to just be off-centered a little bit. Like, they're not meant to go all the way in. Just like that would be fine. And we're not done with this yet. So I'm taking it. We have to flip it upside down now. And we're going to have to add a bunch of teeth. I'm going to start with this one first. Let me put it the way that the book shows it here. Yeah, but Lego putting a Lego set together is labor intensive. As you can see, though, I can't review these sets without putting them together. Even if I had somebody do it, I won't know the build experience. I won't know how the build was. I couldn't tell you that. You know, that would not be fair to you if I just hired someone to do this. That's why I do these all myself. Some guys actually have a staff that does all this. Where for me, everything that I do here essentially is what this is. And this goes right here. That's kind of cool. It fits nice and seamless there. And then I'm almost done with this bag. I think that's it. I think we have to install it next. And this is exactly what we do. So we are slowly getting this thing together here and it just sits on top of those. All right. Yeah, that's uh, kind of ugly. That's what the the foam things are for, I guess, to kind of give it more of a spring-loaded action. And it tells you right here. Oh, I see. So that meant which way you rotate it. So it looks like it's chomping down. And we got the magic pink hand from the void coming in and showing you. And that's it. And yeah, so far it does have some functionality. Let's proceed on with bag nine. Well, bag eight, I mean. My bad. And that's all we have left for stickers. <laughs> so it's everything's been going, it's been going for me very peacefully. So I'm not going to complain about this one. I think bags nine and ten are duplicates. I won't know until I get to it. But let me see here. It looks like we're working on the main model here. And let's get going. See, I break. Ooh, I'm going to have to really hold that down. Okay, making sure here. I should have just asked me to put three of those in there, would have been better. Oh, well, they do what I do. You kind of balance out your part lots a bit throughout the build. And, okay, that's like a single thing. I'm looking for duplicates right now, just to make sure. Okay, 
I'm looking for a round brick. Yeah, I really do need to get this crap cut off. I'm just doing hair flips like crazy. I mean, just getting a haircut is a chore. You gotta shove it all the way down in there, and we got a nice silver metallic parabolic ring. Throw that in there. And then this goes here. Okay. Yeah, but I kind of want to work on some other videos, like tutorials and stuff. You know, there's always a trade-off. Like, yes, I get a lot of parts from all this stuff, but then again, the trade-off is there's not enough time to do tutorials. So I may have to uh, rethink a strategy here. And if I ever get offered this theme again, I'll probably just pass up on it. I mean, there's some unique colors in these pieces, but... Nothing I would commonly use. Oh, okay, we're gonna have to put stickers on these. So, sticker three on both of these. And I think the best way to do is to start at the square end. Just set that down in there. And then I gotta do another one right here too. All right, so this one goes over here. Let me see how that even goes in. All right, it goes right there. This one goes here. Got two more stickers. We're just about done with the sticker sheet, huh? Remember that one set that I got that was missing stickers <laughs> that they sent me and I found I wasn't the only one? I wasn't going to complain, though, because if they weren't provided, I didn't have to put them on, right? I'm missing a 1x6 plate. Or was there even one in there? No, there wasn't. I wasn't paying attention. Pay attention, Jay. you got to get it done and do it right. Four of those, we gotta skip a stud here. Yeah, once it gets warm enough, we get to go swimming in the pool and relax. Right now, it's uh, not possible. The water's sitting in the 80s, but it's gotta be in the 90s before I even get in there. Okay, that still opens up. Okay, cool. And then, gotta put some more on the top up here. These go inside here. Right there. And, yeah. And, let's make sure before I commit to that, that's where that goes. Okay. If you're not sure, don't press it down because it may be hard to get that back up. I was thinking because that corner's hanging over, but I guess it's fine.
Boy, putting two one by one pieces together, especially when you've got big hands, is is a little challenging. Make two of those. We're going to start off with the the right first, and okay, let's uh, start with these. You got to put these in here. This thing's getting pretty chunky now. So when I do the review on it, I'm just going to do the figures first uh, and then come and do a 360 spin tour of this. This is almost as big as that big ship and then we'll do a hand cam tour and then then I'll do the final uh, review on the build. So that's how I will do this one here. I mean like right now I'd uh, I'm just not sure about the build experience on this, though. It's just... I just think it's the colors. It's not bright and colorful. It's almost about the size of a big trout, huh? That does sound good. It's some pan trout. we got to build two of these here. We have stud launchers. Oh, goody. I love stud launchers. Those are always fun. You get to poke the eyes out, people. You know, not. I need to wash my hands. I get done with this one here. Um, while my hands start feeling kind of grimy. got this clump of hair that just keeps falling in my eyes. You know, if I get done with this, i got to see if my guy's got an opening next week. If not, I'll have to live with it. Yep, the good old stud launchers. Last night I watched a movie. It was Meteor. Um, it was a you could tell it was made for TV or something like that. And it was meant, the movie was, I don't know where it was based at, but it was about a meteor. It was about to hit Earth or something like that. People were getting prepared. And it was probably a really bad movie experience just because it was like three different storylines going at one time. And most of the time it was, the, they, were, they kidnapped this guy and his daughter. This one... Guy kept it, kidnapped his guy in the dark because he stole his work or something like that. I'm thinking, I'm lost. And then I was just playing Minecraft while doing it. <laughs> I was like, this movie's not that good. And it's one of those free movies on YouTube. I thought, yeah, I'll give it a whirl. I think it was Meteor Before Impact or something like that. So. And. That's what those are for. So I got two of them. So you can have two people surrounding you and you can just shoot their eyes out with that, huh? Got to, uh, not to save. And I have to build two of these or one? Okay, just one. Yeah, but building brightly color, bright, colorful sets is a lot better than something like this because I'm starting to get bored. Now, I'm not a quitter, so I have to finish this thing up, but steel, it's kind of, kind of not... I mean, I, I guess if somebody's really into this theme, it's probably a good build. Are these cracked? Oh, I thought these were cracked. That's just how them, the mold was injected. Oh, yeah, some guys in the community get so picky how the Lego's been molded. I don't mind if there's mold marks on them, but as long as it comes in pristine condition, I don't care. It's just when it gets scratched up is when I have a problem with it. Excuse me, I'm trying to hold it in, but I failed. 
must be a lantern that goes on the front of the the ship, if you want to call it that. So that's what they're doing there. Why don't we use some transparent yellow in there or something? So if you want to make lanterns for your city, this is a good idea. You could snag right out of here and just uh, implement it for your own use. In fact, that'd make a good little lamppost piece there. You could probably sneak in an LED, a working LED in that too. Okay. And no, we're not done yet. Yeah, I'm all too familiar with writing up steps like that. <laughs> goes like this and then this snaps here and and it gets attached to the big thing just be careful with this if you're like me and you're on a very small little counter it's pretty tight and oh it goes right there Just like that. All right, and that's it for bag eight. Okay, let's see if bags nine and 10 are, are duplicates here. I don't think it is. Now, I'm just gonna check through here real quick. Looks like maybe not. No, nope. so bag nine is pretty safe. See, if you don't know, you can always just check. Well, maybe it is. No, nope, it don't look like it. So maybe it's not. I'm glad now I checked because I mean, there's not a whole lot in there. Everything is broken down, and I mean, it's not a collaborative build, but the parts are divided up in such a way that it's very subtle. It's you're not building slow, you're not building too fast, and everything is broken down to where you're not opening up a bag with 500 pieces. I think these have got about 100 pieces, 120 pieces average, and it's not too bad. And we're building two of these that are mirrors. Let me slide these over here and get them out of the way. Yeah, my workbench is a little cluttered here. So I need to make two of these, but they're reflections. This one here goes here. Well, that just came off, huh? <laughs> Let me make sure. Did I do that right? 
it shows it like this, but the hand's facing the wrong way, so I must have put the wrong one in there. There we go. No, wait a minute. I'm totally effing up here. This is uh, backwards, unfortunately. I've got to take that all apart. Yeah, there's just a lot of plates with this set. It's just plate after plate. Taking it, that's supposed to snap in. I'm not going to snap it in there just yet. See, it just disintegrates. <laughs> I wish it was a pirate ship or something. Yeah. I think I'm just kind of losing interest in this build. It's just, uh, I could just hear Janet. Oh, I don't want to build that. <laughs> I'm saving you the ta the time. You don't have to build it. Probably like, thank goodness, I don't want to have to build that ugly thing. Yeah. It's got some unique pieces, though. So I got to give it some credit for that. And these actually snap in here. I don't want to listen to some music. I was earlier today, and I'm just getting tired of doing video Lego sets. I, like I said, I have a buddy of mine who's just like, oh, man, you're lucky. You get to build all these sets. I'm like, I'd rather build a mock. <laughs> oh, man, I would go bonkers. I'm like, oh, you want to trade? I want to do a, I want to do a custom. I had a restaurant build a one to start on but it's hard to do a restaurant or a mock in general pretty much when you're constantly doing this like I had to squeeze a little time in to do a haul video just to kind of squeeze it in my tight schedule you know if they don't take a long time and I had to put a, 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 a sad note. I was like, if a lot of people don't really care about the parts list in the description of the videos, which most people don't even read that. I'm like, those parts lists may go away. That means if I do a haul, the only place to find the parts list that is on a behind a paywall for those, because they do take some time. I don't know yet. Of course, if I don't like what I said, I can always redact that out of there. I can turn that more that way. There you go. And you can see a little bit more. I did have a somebody asked me how was the how was Father's Day you now. It's a topic I don't even want to get into. Um, I'm getting about that done there. We're getting close. Yeah, we're, it's just a few more parts in here. Still got two stickers we haven't placed on yet. And that's it. Well, actually, there's no parts remaining out of that one. And that's as far as I can go on that. Yeah. Alright, and we're going to wrap up this installment with bag 10. And yeah, I think 
maybe bags 10 and 11 were the same. If they are, I may just go through those real quick. Let's make sure here. Or, yeah, bags, bags 10 and 11 are the same. So you think what I'm going to do here is stop. And let me get bag 10 here. We'll prepare it real quick. I couldn't remember which ones were duplicates. Always the last one. So this installment's only going to do bags. Mm, too many Lego sets in here. No mocks. And this is actually essentially the same exact pieces. I couldn't remember which one. So these are mirrors. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to save the remainder of this for the next installment. So yes, this installment just covers bags six through nine because we're going to need to put these onto that. So this, these are both essentially the same pieces. So yeah, let's take a look here. Let's make sure. And Let me get to bag 11 here. Yeah, we're pretty much starting off the same way. There might be some subtle differences, but yeah, this is this is pretty much the same. So yeah, so join me in the next installment. We'll build bags uh, nine and ten together.